isn't that the bit that talks about talks about Jesus going to um, India and Egypt? In yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my favorite part. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There are the the, the the lost books of the Bible, um, the lost books of the Bible, which people seldom talk about, you know, because it it would show that their ideology has been. Because remember, Jesus vanished after he stormed out the temple. Twelve years old. He vanished, mate. And then he for what? Pulled. How many years? Fifteen years. He would pop back up when he was about thirty. So what's that like? How old was he when he left? Twelve. Twelve. It's about eighteen years. Eighteen Give or take, years. Yeah, maybe fifteen. It's like everyone has, everyone's allowed their, um, their spiritual system. I'm not trying to take people's spiritual system away, but it's just very interesting that black people fight for other people's spiritual systems. They fight for the Christian one. They fight for the Arab one. They fight for the Jewish one. It's just like, you know what? Like no one was fighting for an African spiritual system who wasn't African. It doesn't, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. And it, it kind of says to me that black people seem to hate slavery, but they love the religion that came with it. And that is very interesting to me. Black people hate slavery, but they love the religions that came with it, whether that be uh, Arab Islam, whether that be European Christianity, Judeo Christianity, um, they seem to love it. And they always ha have some kind of excuse. Now, what people are gonna say, uh, cause I already know, cause I've I used to debate this for years, Jesse, right? What are people are gonna say, they're gonna say, oh, well, you know what? Christianity was in Africa before the European came to Africa. And I'm gonna say, you're 100% right. However, the, you can go to Ethiopia and you can find a church of Lila Bella, one of the oldest churches you'll find in Ethiopia. But you also find that the Ethiopian Bible has 81 books, but you don't follow an 81 book Bible. You follow the Bible of 66 books. So then it becomes, well, whose Bible are you now following? Because you're not following the 81 book Bible, okay? So you can say that there were um, Christians within Africa prior to European colonization, which would be 100% correct, but you, but you don't follow that. You actually don't follow it. And if you, do, if you don't follow it, what you are actually given into is the fact that this thing has been corrupted from 88, from 81 books, sorry, some is 88, 81 books to 66 books. And now you're following the 66 book Bible. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's Cerberus. That um, bit that's missing, the Apocrypha, it's called. The right? Apocrypha. Isn't that the bit that talks about, talks about Jesus going to um, India and Egypt? In, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite part. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there are the, 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 the lost books of the Bible. Um, the lost books of the Bible, which people seldom talk about, you know, because it it would show that their ideology has been. Because remember, Jesus vanished after he stormed out the temple. Twelve years old. He vanished, mate. And then For he what? Popped... How many years? Fifteen about... years. He would pop back up when he was about thirty. So what's that like? How old was he when he left? Twelve. Twelve. It's about eighteen years. 18 Give or take, years. yeah, maybe. But um, yeah, there's just a historical, um, there's just a historical thing about Cerberus for me. Um, I don't fuck with Cerberus <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. In Greek mythology, Cerberus, uh, often referred to as the Hound of Hades, is a multi-headed dog that guards the gates of the underworld to prevent the dead from leaving. He was offspring of monsters, Echinda and Ty Typhon, and was usually described as having three heads. A serpent for tail and snakes sprouting from his body. Cerberus is primarily known for his capture by Hercules, the last of Hercules' 12 labors. Yes, so um, Cerberus is Abrahamic religion. There's a picture of Cerberus there. There we are. We have Christianity, we have Islam, and we have, have Judaism. And the reason why these religions are Cerberus is because they are Abrahamic. You can take that down and I'll, I'll explain. 
So Cerberus being a three-headed dog, there are Islam, there are Christianity, and there are uh, Judaism. The body of Cerberus is Abrahamic religion. And within Abrahamic religion, all three of those heads think that they are top dog. And so if you know the story of Cerberus, what you find is that Cerberus would guard the gates of hell. And if anybody tried to leave or even come in, Cerberus would attack them. Cerberus would rip them to shreds and try and kill them. And that is what I realized when I was debating these religions down at Speaker's Corner. If I tried to critique them, they would actually form, form together to attack me. And I was like, hmm, isn't that interesting? And then what you understand about Cerberus in the Greek myth mythology is that if you leave Cerberus alone, Cerberus will actually attack itself because it believes, all three heads believe that they are top dog. All three heads believe that they are the one that should be the one. And so what happens is they will go, no, and, 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 and they nip at each other because they all thought, even though they had the same body, that they were the top dog. And so when you get to um, the Abrahamic religions, what I found is that you leave them all alone and they all kill themselves. They all attack themselves. If you look at what's going on in Palestine right now, and Gaza and Israel right now, this is just Cerberus doing what Cerberus does. For years and years and years, Muslims versus Christians, Christians versus Muslim, Jews versus Muslim, Muslim versus Jew, has been a war that has been fought for 1,400 years. This is Cerberus. That's all Cerberus knows. Cerberus only knows to attack itself. I let Cerberus be Cerberus. If people want to fuck with Cerberus, that's fine. Um, I don't fuck with Cerberus. Uh, I'll let Cerberus be what it is and continue to be what it is. Um, but please, people, don't ask me to fuck with Cerberus, please. Because I used to fuck with Cerberus, <laughs> right? I used to, me and Cerberus used to be cool. But now, once I understand who Cerberus is, I really don't want any parts of Cerberus because Cerberus will have me uh, fight in a position that I, I don't even have a horse in the race. Now, again, that is not to say that there is no divine energy entity as part, as part of the universe. That, that's not to say that because that's what I believe also as a pantheist. But when it comes to Abrahamic religion and choosing one of the three heads to be a part of, of the three heads that like to attack each other, not understanding that they're of the same body, not understanding that they are confused while they all state that the devil is the author of confusion. It ain't for me, man. Um